Hello my friends of Atari Labs, my name is Saul Montoya, please welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is a kind of a very interesting tutorial or maybe innovative because we have redefined the way that we are going to treat the geospatial data I and mean, at least for us, okay, we are going to do some specific geospatial process entirely in Python but using a Python class. That, actually, that can enhance our functionality, can enhance the transferability, can, and can make us work as a purpose, work less and do more. Okay, so what I have done is this. In QES, you are going, in the description of the, of the video, you are going to find the input data, and the input data is actually this. Uh, you have a, la, a river, then you have some polygons, then you have some points, and then you have the limit layer that is the, the polygon. Okay. The purpose of this tutorial is to extract all vertices inside this, um, all vertices that are inside this polygon, okay, from the rivers, from the from the polygons and from and as well the and as well the the observation points because those are vertices as well plus the vertex of the limit of the polygon layer okay so we are going to do that uh, we through python but in this case we are going to use a uh, anaconda a uh, environment your special environment However, we are not going to use JupyterLab. We are going just to do, in this case, I'm using an IDE like Atom, or you can do Visual Studio Code, or whatever other. There are many of these IDEs. Okay, so this is the script that we are going to run. So let's see. Okay, just to show you, you are going to find this. Okay, so like here these are the chip files that i have posted and then on out i'm going to delete this because this is what is going to be generated and on the script you are going to have the poly script and as well the um, this folder where the uh, python class is located okay so this is the script this one so they say for Python class inside Polygon import extract vertex. Uh, actually, matplotlib time no, actually just that because actually we don't need anything. So we extract the vertex. We add the limit layer that it has to be a polygon because those are vertex inside the polygon. Then we have the we can insert polygons, we can insert the river network uh, lines, that this is the, this is polygon. And this is a multi-line, uh, line, line string. Okay. And this is, these are points, points. Okay. And then, um, this function actually extract the vertex and this line export the vertex as a shape file. Okay, so here this is kind of well actually well if you read the Python class you will find that I have you this is actually I was using this for other purpose. I mean I was doing this for for another study. Okay, so but I had I wanted to extract these functionalities, so, but in on the code, if you want to read the code, you are going to see that I'm going I'm defining a model, another feature, but this is for the purpose that I did this class. Okay, so we have well we extract the features. There are some there are some uh, like uh, there are some process that identifies that if you are not working with a polygon the process should should stop and there are and actually it works with just a polygon line string and point so if you have multi polygon you have to export the polygon 
into the multi polygon two polygons or the line the multi line string two line strings and so on. well th that's it and that's it and there are some uh, process okay because actually you don't have to for example here you don't have to identify that this is a, a polygon actually it will recognize from the data okay and it will export as a as a chip file okay with the CRS of the polygon uh, it actually assumes it assumes because actually I have not that you are going you are working with the same projection actually it assumes that okay but okay so but if you want to to write some code you can also send um, like a warning say okay you are not working with the same projection uh, transform your but actually it assumes that okay um okay so what we are going to do is we are going to launch this so i say Anaconda. Conda. Here I have a geospatial uh, environment. I will um, I will leave a um, tutorial to create that environment. So in my case is GeoHatari. So I say Conda. Activate GeoHatari. Okay. So I say CD documents cd yes, partial python okay cd scripts okay and then here as i will say python uh polyscript.pi okay so th because this is a just partial environment that actually can allows us to run a uh, python with the with gdal with shapely with geo pandas and so okay so the code is pretty fast and then here we will see that here we will see that we have already our chip file and then here we can import that chip file okay and I can fancy around this with some Okay, and then here I have the results of this, and the result of this that I have the polygons inside the vertex inside the polygon from the from the river, and as well from the polygons, okay, and as well from the points, and as well the vertex of the polygon of the limit layer as well, okay. So this is kind of very, very special. This is something in German is besonders, particularly for this. And the purpose of this video, if you are here, is to show that you can do this type of analysis fast, that you can do this in a very productive way. I mean, on production, I mean, on your normal day. And then if you are, if you are doing like this in normal QGIS commands it will be slow and if you have to do it many times like you might think of using your special python for here okay thank you for following me uh thank you for following join through this um uh, join to our youtube channel and i hope to see you in coming webinars courses or diplomas and have a great day and as we say viva el software libre have a great day bye bye bye